Okay, guys. Um, I'm a little nervous on the Jalen Brown thing. Bob, I'll start with you on this. Here's the latest. They say, according to Himmels Bach, your colleague with the Globe, Adam, that a five-year max is on the table and everybody's fine with that. But the hangup is a potential no trade and a fifth-year player option. Are you concerned about this getting done? And should it get done? Should he get a five-year max? Uh, you know, my uh, there's several layers here. Uh, and the last one. Uh, and the, under the rules, the way the game's being played, the way that this, the system has, you know, is, is codified, um, uh, he's, el- you know, he, he, he's certainly eligible for the five-year max. I wish he weren't in, on the basis of, of making second team all NBA. That should strictly be their decision. But uh, in the, the problem ult- for me ultimately is uh, we, we assume, I think we all assume he thinks he's as good as Tatum and he's not. And, and that, I, I, you know, he, so in a, in a real common sense world that we we abandoned a long time ago in all pro sports with regard to money and who gets paid what and who's the, what the pecking orders are and why guys get paid when they get paid, which is timing a lot of times. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, no, he's not worth the max. But they, out of context, he's not worth the max. He's very good, but he's not that good. Although he thinks he's that good, the way I understand it. Uh, now the, they, all, they all think they're that good, Bob. All right, there's yeah. the other thing. They're, they don't may look at it. I think we all seem to feel there's a window here. This is a, they're, they're squandering an opportunity. This is year two for sure, maybe year three of, of a window of that, that is open to them. And, and in order to fulfill the destiny, yeah, they need them. And, and, and they, they can't just let them, they need them. So they're going to have to gradually give them the max. Okay, I understand that, and 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 I think it's going to get done. I mean, I, I still can't believe that it won't get done. So, but it, it's but in in my world, he'd be number two in a pecking order, and he wouldn't get the same amount of money. He wouldn't get a max. But, but that, that world doesn't exist. I, I think he's probably. If, I wrote down a bunch of players last week, and I, it'd be interesting, Bob, if you did the same thing. Mm-hmm. I think he's like the 25th best player, in my opinion, in the NBA, somewhere around there. You know, and, and for a year, he's going to have probably the richest NBA contract in, in history for a year. And then somebody else will get it next right. year. And, and it won't kick in for a year. Um, you know, I don't think they have much of a choice here. The only thing, if I'm Brad Stevens, and maybe he's doing this, I'm slow playing the hell out of this. Because I don't know with Dame Lillard here, where that's headed, right? Like, obviously, they haven't found the deal they're looking for. Dame wants to go to Miami. Maybe, again, maybe just wait another week and just see, all right, does Joe Cronin get a little bit desperate? And I know Dame doesn't really want to come, but he only wants to come to Miami right now. Like, that's one team. If if I'm Portland, I'm trying to get the best deal, and the best deal could involve Jalen Brown, even though... You know, that may not be exactly what they want, but to me, actually, I think Portland, Jalen Brown fits in a lot of ways. They've got some good young guards. Jalen Brown's a lot younger than Dame. I actually think the the core of that trade, and I don't know how it's made, because again, if you're Portland, you have to almost have a, a deal in place with Jalen, right? You're gonna have a deal in place because his deal's up in a year that, that you're gonna sign him to a long-term deal. Uh, it's risky from their end, but if you're taking guys, one guy for the next two years, two years, I'm not the window, like you said, you're playing in like two, three year windows here because guys can can request trades whenever the hell they want. Who do you want for the next two years that gives you the best opportunity to win the NBA title? To me, it's clear. It's clear as hell. It's Dame Lillard as, as long as he stays healthy. Yeah, there's no argument. He's, he's it. Right. And, I, and I think it's a good point by you, Jeff, um, that Brad what, Brad doesn't have to hurry. Why should he? I mean, it, there's no gun to his head. I mean, he's had conversations. He knows, you know, Jalen knows that they're willing to pay him, but he's going to wait and see what happens here. What about the potential no trade? Is that a hang up? Can't do that. No chance. You're Jalen Brown. You just saw what happened with Bradley Beal and how, how his trade value went down significantly because of that's off the table. That's non-negotiable if I'm Brad Stevens. Unless you have a deal set up with, well, how do you do that with Portland? You don't sign the deal. You let them make the deal with Portland. And you Correct. Trade. That's yeah. right. Let me ask you this, uh, Jeff, uh, with regard to back up with the Miami uh, quest. Can you see any way Miami could 
possibly satisfy them? I mean, Tyler Hero is not the answer. It's got to be a third team. I mean, it's not. Right. Tyler Hero is right. not the answer. So no, there has know. to be a third team involved. I think that's what they've been looking for here. And they haven't been able to find it. Okay, because as, as a standout, Miami simply doesn't have anything to give them that they would. And, and here's the other thing, guys. Here's the other thing. And this this hasn't been talked about enough, but these these first round picks right now in the next two years, I have seen these last two. I, I was just out in the road and I saw the senior high school class. I saw this year's freshman class a year ago. Okay, they are two of the most underwhelming classes you will ever find at the top and there's no Victor Wembanyama coming from from across the water either like there is nobody right now that you are tanking for it's completely underwhelming for two years in a row potentially until and we'll talk about this later in the pod until guys like Cooper Flag and and Carlos Bruiser's son and AJ um Dabatsa, he, he gets to the NBA draft hmm. All right, it's very good to know. Stay tuned, but uh, we, I know. appreciate Jeff Goodman's theory on that because that makes sense for the slow play. The CLNS Media Network is powered by FanDuel. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed.